Sarah, when I saw you last night on the red carpet, you had not seen the film yet. So now that you've seen it, your thoughts? I mean, I thought it was incredible. I was so moved by it. I mean, having read the script, of course I knew what was coming, but I, mean, I guess I can't say what the end is, but when you see um, certain people, your heart just explodes with grief and joy all at the same time. I thought it was incredible in seeing the kids in the beginning. Um, obviously all that they shot in Africa I hadn't seen any of and um, the kids are so beautiful and so amazing and brought those stories to life in ways I, I couldn't even believe. And it's a beautiful place, you know. Indeed. Now, your character is a bit of an interesting Christian woman. How would you describe her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I think she is extremely well-meaning. Um, she has a good heart. She's probably a little bit tone deaf to um, all that these young men have been through. Um, you know, I don't think she really probably views it as her job. Um, she has a lot of refugees come in and out of her life, and I think she's the sort of person that takes everything at face value. She's learned a few key things. Oh, sometimes they don't know about the light switch. I, I need to make sure I point that out. Um, but, I, you know, I think she sort of takes them in and is ready to just move forward with them. She probably doesn't hasn't given a lot of consideration to all that they've been through. Now, Gare, you actually are from South Sudan. You were a child soldier, you were a refugee. How true to reality is the film? I have so many titles. <laughs> <laughs> I know my name, yeah. I'm a refugee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a citizen soldier. of South Sudan, I'm yeah. a child soldier, I'm a lost boy. Supermodel. No. <laughs> <laughs> that comes with the transformation. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, the story is very close to me. It came right from where I'm from. And in the center of it is our life experiences as a boys who really fled the country in 1987 by foot all the way to Ethiopia with no food to little. And, uh, and then later on we have to find our way to all the way back to South Sudan because we were pushed away by a different civil war that had nothing to do with us. Yeah, and then it was hunting us down. We had to come back to our area. And then it was just a whole chaos it was going on in 1991. Where sometimes I wonder if people knew about what was going on in 1991. And then here we are now, we're making movies about 1991 and the same problem is still going on. So as a child and as an adult now, I, I, will ask, I ask myself a lot of questions, especially uh, what, was the world care about us when we were little kids? Or, and now here I am, I'm talking about the same little kids that are really suffering in refugee camp, like let's help them, let's help them. So. I was just telling Corey and Sarah, like, human drama is inevitable then. Well, I hope this film does shed more light and, and awakens our, our eyes for sure. Corey, in light of all the roles that we know you for, um, this seems a little different. What, what drew you to it? Well, you know, I was sold on the movie before my character even entered the script. I was really, there's just those first 30 pages uh, where we, we follow uh, the, the the young children making their way through this, uh, you know, sort of one, it seems like something out of the Bible, it's sort of one plague after another, the crossing, you, you know, crossing a river and, you know, exposure to the heat and, and, and starvation and, um, and then making it to this refugee camp. And then it's only, you know, 30, 35 minutes into the movie that we, were introduced to uh, to America, and um, I thought it was such a brilliant way to tell the story because after having so much time uh, from the Lost Boys perspective, then coming to America, we're seeing it from from their perspective, and then we see this rascal scooter go by in the airport, and it just it seems <laughs> absurd. Whereas, and so the humor in the movie uh, is is at our expense, mm -hmm. not. Not not on, not on, not on the Lost Boys and, and Girl, um, which I think is really important um, because the humor is really. I know this is a question about my character, but <laughs> uh, but uh, and so by the time you you get to my character, um, he's he's he he like I think most people in America doesn't know much about uh, what what happened in South Sudan and doesn't want to get involved because uh, it's, uh, you know, he thinks he could get sued, but it's just, it's just too much. It's somebody else's problem. 
And, um, you know, it, it, it was uh, great to sort of chart that journey from resistance to a sort of inexorable desire to be involved and, and need to be involved.